Here's the Canon R5, and I have the BGR10 battery grip right there. In this video, I'm just going to give my initial thoughts on the battery grip. This grip, I believe, also works on the R6, so it's the R6 and R5. I used to own the Canon R, EOS R, and I got the battery grip for the R, and I thought the battery grip helped for using bigger lenses, but it... It, it, the dimensions of the battery grip I, I felt were bigger than the camera and I think the same thing with the R5 even though the R5 is a more substantial uh, better better body than the US R was this grip here seems just slightly bigger than the body itself so things don't quite align here it aligns and the grip here which is nice. I have medium sized hands, so if you have big hands, this would be really perfect. Small hands, I don't know. But medium to, to big, is it works. And there's places to put your thumb here. And then when you wanna shoot portrait mode, here is where I think this is too thick in portrait mode, because I can't grip it. The, the grip here, when you're doing portrait mode, is bigger than the grip here on the camera or at least it feels that way to me. And especially when you are shooting here like this, I find this to be not the same as this, this grip. But otherwise, the functionality of it, this is great. It adds some protection, it increases the battery life. You can, take, you can uh, use uh, the older Canon batteries and the newer Canon batteries, because the R5 takes these newer LP, this is the uh, LPE6NH batteries. But as you can see here, and this is an older one, you can see here I'm using both the new one and the old one, and they both work together. The previous uh, grip for the EOS R also came with a charger. This one doesn't come with a charger. It just comes with the grip itself. You can see it here. There's the on-off switch here, and this on-off switch doesn't turn on off the camera, but it turns on and off all the buttons. So if you leave this off, none of these buttons will work if you accidentally hit it, like the dials and stuff. Here it mirrors the same arrangement as up here, and these feel very good. They feel, very, they feel premium. The buttons feel premium. They feel just as good as the camera. There's a lot of tactile feel to them as well. There's clicks. The shutter feels, yeah, the shutter? The shutter button feels exactly the same. The shutter on the grip is exactly the same feel as the camera. And let me just, oh, and then there's, if there's a little extra safety or whatever that alignment hole is. So that way it doesn't twist if you have a plate like that. Let me undo. Okay, it's just that one screw and it comes out. There's the bottom. On here, uh, on the EOS R, there was extra components, an electronic component on this side. So on the bottom here, you not only had to remove the, the battery flap, there was also a little uh, electronic connection here that had its own flap and you took both of them off. Here, you don't need that stuff. You just take off this one door. The door hinge connects to the, the 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 battery grip here it connects there so you'll never lose it or you don't have to put it in your camera bag it's always connected goes on there and there's really no other pieces uh, there are if you're gonna separate them and have this in your camera bag there are two caps so there's an electronic component here and then the battery here they come with their own caps that you can that you can put on and off but otherwise slip it on. There's two batteries, so it does double the battery life, and I can shoot all day. I can have the camera on all day um, and run it. I, I don't leave it on for, for stills. Uh, I was on and off, but I, I did a full day shoot, a full eight hour day shoot with the camera on and off as I was hiking and shooting, and I never had to worry about the battery life. I don't know if you're shooting video, if it's any different. I bet it is different if you're shooting video, but um, it, the, the battery life on the R5 is surprisingly good by itself. So even, even without the grip uh, and having two batteries, I could shoot almost a full day with just one battery. But that's my first impressions of this grip. I really like it. 
I think it's a slightly bigger than I, I uh, to my taste, but uh, I'm this is just gonna stay on my R5 from now on.